Coming up tonight on Eyewitness News at 10, David Hammer continues his special investigation called The Toxic Truth. David joins us now, and David, in part one, you laid out how St. John Parish has a very high risk of cancer, and it's all connected with neoprene, uh, the DuPont Danka plant. What are you gonna bring for us in part two? Right, well, uh, we showed you on Tuesday about how it's at the highest risk of cancer in the country from air pollution. But you know, risk doesn't necessarily translate into actual cancer. Just because you're at risk doesn't mean you're going to get cancer. And what we found is that the data on cancer incidences in St. John does not show that there's actually more of it there than uh, in other parts of the state even. So we're gonna try to reconcile that, show you how risk relates to actual incidence of cancer, and look at what the plant is doing to try to address the concerns of the community. And there is concern, though, and even though you, you're going to hash out this discrepancy between the actual risk of cancer and the actual cases of cancer, what are the families saying on the ground? This can't be great for their sense of security. Right. They're saying that they're seeing the impact hitting home all the way, people dying, people getting sick all the time, strange illnesses, cancers, and they feel that after learning about the EPA's findings that it's got to be related to the plant. The plant uh, disputes that. And all this in our backyard in St. John Parish. That's all right, right, thank you, David. Again, The Toxic Truth Part 2 airs tonight on Eyewitness News at 10.